Yo! Finally. So Josh and I spoke, and fucking over Bloom has been a long-standing project. All right, you need two things to take down Bloom. You need to get people to rally behind your cause to separate you from the trolls. And we need bots, and a lot of them to handle the data CTOS is processing. Thank you, Josh. We spent all night modifying our app so you can get followers to download the app, and we can use their processing power for the cause. Oh, this is happening? It's really happening? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, this is happening. You better get to it. <laughs> Hell yeah, man! Barbarians are at the gate and ready to bust some Roman heads. Yeah, we're gonna focus on some high-profile ops, playing for exposure and laughs to get people to download our app. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't worry, because that was something fun. <laughs> Marcus! <laughs> Check you out! Alive and dry. I wasn't sure after your moonlight swim. Come here, you've got to check this out. Behold, our very own open source research app. So, like, all of us here pool vulnerabilities that we find, and we encourage everyone to share their work, their research, etc. Okay, so what's the research app do? Widen our skill set? Make us irresistible to the gender of our choice? What, so it's like a I know kung fu kind of deal? If kung fu was a gender and not so 1999, absolutely. Behold, the wonders of technology. A 3D printer? This is the army of printers. It is capable of pumping out an arsenal of lethal weapons down. Seriously? Yep. Once you master it, voila! Hipster merchant of death. All good, except I'm no hipster. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that. Now try to make something. But don't blow us up. Good to have another brother here. Good to be here, man. Are you all hackers? Yeah, kind of a basic requirement to get invited into the hacker space. But we all have our specialties, like Josh over there. 
Always building shit that shouldn't work. Now he's trying to build this big ass drone. And wrench? Good engineer too. But better at breaking shit apart. And yo, Satara? <laughs> Sis got skills as an artist and a graphic designer. Without her, dead sex walking around without a face or voice. What about you? What's your superpower? Tactical coordinator or cat herder. Take your pick. I make dead sec go where it has the most impact. You heard of primate? Those are some real dirty hacking motherfuckers. Yeah, I've brushed up against them before. It wasn't pleasant. All right, that's what I like to hear. Link up with me when you're ready to do this, and I'll fill you in. There's always someone running ops against Prime 8. Bet they'd love your help. It's something, right? This whole place is something. We used to keep track of news feeds on here, but now it's our follower wall. So it knows if we're trending? No, no, no. It's based on hard values. How many people downloaded our app, how much processing power we have access to. You know. <laughs> nice. And speaking of which, we're downloading the DeadSec app into your phone as we speak. When it's ready, open it up, click the suggested op, and hit the park outside so we can test it. Sounds good. One more thing. I put a reminder on your phone so you remember what we're gunning for. Get enough processing power to take down Bloom. DedSec found Josh, hot sauce, posting anti-CTOS videos on Envite. Kid had a plastic Halloween mask over his face, a skull, but like the worst dollar store skull you could find. You could see his eyes through it, big no-no when it comes to avoiding a profiler. He had a distorted voice, but he didn't change his speech patterns. You see, Josh, he's high-functioning autistic, which means he's got a very specific way of talking. Sitar found him easily, but he wasn't at all what we expected. When you get down to pure coding, Josh operates on a higher level than the rest of us. We got a look at his CTOS profile and all kinds of nasty flags popped up. Emotionally challenged, unstable, even a low mental maturity score. He's none of those things, and he quickly became the activist soul of our group. He has a black and white way of seeing things, fair and unfair. Which means he can be refreshing and often hilarious. We caught a glimpse of the damage CTOS dealt him. Rejected care programs, cut funding, overcharges. We offered to help him make things right. When we met Josh, he had the right intentions and the wrong approach, like a laser putting on a pretty light show instead of burning holes. If Bloom System wants to make him unemployable, damn straight we're gonna snatch him up and point him right back at him. 
The original Chicago DedSec has coordinated operations, everybody mostly working towards the same goal. Rumors say that the leaderless group actually has somebody upstairs calling the shots. The Council of Daves. I can't say if it's true or not, but somebody's focusing their efforts. I know because I studied everything about them, even ran a few of their ops. I wanted to emulate them, try to figure out what worked for them and apply it to us. But the members of our Bay Area dead set couldn't be more different from each other. Now, if there was a spectrum spanning anarchists to activists, we'd probably feel the whole damn thing. But there's one thing that unites the key crew. Each one of us has reason to hate big data, or more specifically, Bloom and its CTOS. I've been overseeing operations, making sure people get to where they need to be with the tools they require. I've got eyes on the big picture. The way I see it, I've lit the fuse. It's only a matter of time before Bloom feels the dead sec explosion. The wrench. <laughs> Man, what to say about this guy? Some freaky shit going on right there. I'd like to say he's actually a sensitive, charming guy beneath the harsh exterior. But I'm pretty sure he's a fucked up motherfucker all the way through. I don't even know who first recruited him. He just started showing up at local hacker spaces and building his tools of destruction. At first, I thought he was trying too hard. Like he was a FBI plant or something. But no agent is gonna pull the kind of suicidal stunts this guy does. I think the truth is, Wrench doesn't care if he dies, but he's not going quietly. Even so, I'm glad we've got the wrench on our side. One of the group's biggest problems is lack of GSD, getting shit done. The wrench is pure GSD, and he brings his own sledgehammer. He's not some dumb thug either. I've seen some of his code, he's legit. Probably why he's interested in DedSec and not some street gang. You know what, I take that back. He might actually belong to a street gang, who knows? One thing I do know about Wrench, the man hates Bloom. I mean, hates them. I can't get the why from him. It's obvious he wears the mask to avoid facial recognition, but what's he hiding from? He's not saying. So we've been looking at this new guy, calls himself Retro. <laughs> Now, I like his style. Spent some time in Oakland. In fact, that's where he earned some of his hacker cred. I read everything I could about it when it was going down. The home domain center had to deal with Homeland Security. They rolled out cameras in Oakland and started stockpiling data on everybody. Somehow, Retro got targeted by the thing and profiled him based on his computer skills and marked him as a prime suspect in the local high-tech robbery. The evidence was all digital. Nothing put him at the scene of the crime. And the case... <laughs> was a shit show, full of quotes from people who didn't know anything about technology, lies everywhere, false flags and fear-mongering. <laughs> they weren't about to admit to a flaw in their system. Retro got lucky. He got a judge that decided not to throw the book at him. So he ended up with community service. He says it wasn't a big deal because he got to work with kids. Taught them the truth about the system in place. Probably the best lesson they've ever learned. But he knew he was going back after the HDC. He data mined them, hacked into the accounts of their key members, exposed every little thing that showed just how corrupt the system was. A huge victory, right? Yeah, maybe not so much. Oh, he spanked the HDC, no question. Got the program shut down hard. So where did all those cameras in Oakland go? They're still there. But guess who owns them now? Bloom. They're part of the CTOS, being used to track and profile people, just like the HDC was doing. And now Retro's got himself a nasty profile on record. We think he's gonna be eager to do something about it and can't wait to see him work. My bet, he's prime dead sec material.